Hi, this is Oya from Visible Futures Lab. I'm going to show you how to analyze and repair a mesh file in NetFab Free. An STL file is the universal file format for 3D printing, but not all STL files are always good meshes. For a good triangle mesh that can be used for 3D printing, it has to be valid, It has to be closed. On the left, you see a closed mesh, that's a solid. On the right, you see an open one. And at the bottom, on the left, you see when the faces are not closed together. It has to be orientable. That means all of the shells has an orientation. And it should have no self-intersection. If there is any, then those shells should be combined to one. NetFab can fix all of these issues. These concepts will become much more clear once you see it in action. The first thing I always recommend is to go to settings and check units. Today I am using an SDL file in millimeters, so I'm going to keep it in millimeters. Let's upload the file. Under project, click add part. This is an STL that I downloaded online for the purposes of 3D printing. I have already checked in Rhino 3D. It has some problems, so that's why I'm bringing to NetFab. When your file is opened, you might want to check on the right down below. This sign displayed when an STL file is not suitable for 3D printing. Just a little bit of navigation. On this preview window, I'm going to click control down and if I click over uh, the corners of the bounding box of my model, I can just rotate the model to look around. So I'm keeping the control down, but I am just clicking on different portions of this box. To zoom in and out, you simply have to scroll in and out. I'm on a Mac environment. I'm just simply scrolling on my trackpad. And for panning, you're going to be holding the Option key down and click and move around. Everything in NetFab happens on the right side in the Parts tree. It is going to create branches under your part. So if you have more than one parts, you have to check the different branches of each part. Let's do analysis first to see what are the problems. Click new analysis in the ribbon, standard analysis. Now I am in the analysis mode, everything is white. So on the right down below, this is the information that I'm looking for. First thing that I always check is surface is closed. No, the surface is orientable. Yes. So you want the answer to these two questions. Yes. Another thing is software should be able to calculate the volume. So because it's not closed, it cannot calculate volume. You can also see some other additional information here. This model has 15 holes. It has 48 boundary edges. You want to make sure that the boundary edges are zero. Um, there are no flip triangles, which is a good thing. And there are no bad edges, which is another good thing. So now I have a bit of an idea. I only have to close the holes. So I'm going to click back to my part and go to repair. So you can reach the repair from the ribbon. Also, you can reach it from the menu under extras repair part. Visualization changes and we're in the uh, part repair mode. On the parts tree, you can see I had the piece and then I did the part analysis, the standard analysis. Now I'm doing the part repair. At the right down below, the part repair has different tabs, status, actions, repair scripts, and view. For this section, I want to stick to a very quick automatic repair to show you how fast you can achieve a 3D printable SDL file. So you want to make sure under statistics, auto update is checked. And the visualization is only used for um, showing you where are the holes or how you want to look at your file. 
if I click triangle mesh, I can see all of these triangles. So in this file, the holes are very, very small. But even though I cannot see in this preview, I know that there are 15 holes and I know that there are 48 border edges. Um, all I have to do right now is automatic repair. So I'm going to click that. And default repair has many scripts that I don't need. I only need a simple repair, which is only going to close holes for me. Execute. You can see the blue bar down below for the progress. In the preview, you should be able to see in green where it's fixed, but it is so small, sometimes this happens, you actually cannot really see if it fixed or not. The best way to look at it is to check the statistics. Now over here I can clearly see there are no holes and there are no border edges. So one more important thing to remember, this is just the preview. What you have to do is apply repair. For each repair that is applied, NetFab will create a new part. So do you want to keep the old part or do you want to remove the old part? I'm going to click remove old part. All the other things in my parts tree has been um, removed and I only have my Baby Yoda version 2.2 with repaired in parentheses. So let's zoom out a little bit. And one thing you might notice right now, we no longer have on the right down below the exclamation point, the warning sign. And also you don't have it at the parts tree either. All I have to do right now is to export this part. Couple of ways to do it. I can go to part, export part, and select the file format that I need. Also on the parts tree, I can right click on the name and then click export part and click SDL. You can select default or you can select SDL from here again. Click save. So this window sometimes opens. It says some file formats do not include enough information. This may result in errors. If you want to make sure that there's no issues with your file, you should click optimize. And like magic, no problem expected. The files should be error free. I can just export.